As you may or may not know, Dynamo 2.13 came out today. So if you don't follow Saul on Twitter, he's the Dynamo product manager. Uh, he's a good place to get updates, but they also post blog posts as well. Uh, there's a big blog post, part one of three, uh, to show you all the changes with this version. But we'll take a look at a few of them and how they apply to Monocle specifically uh, in this video. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. So in Dynamo 2.13, we have the pretty typical home screen, kind of what we were used to seeing at this point. Some fonts have changed and things like that. Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do is click on new. One of the biggest changes that I want to highlight would be this home tab for your home workspace. This home tab is now up inside of this toolbar instead of down below where it was before. This is really interesting because that did mo uh, modify Monocle quite a bit. So we'll look at those changes here. Uh, other general changes would be the library looking a bit different. Uh, it seems a little faster to me. I don't know if they made library changes or not, uh, but it just seems a little snappier as well. Uh, we have some different UI changes for the ribbons. There's some onboarding. So if you were to go through, you can actually get help and get an interactive guide to getting started and follow around with it. So this is a really cool feature for new users as well. So in regards to Monocle specifically, if we just go ahead and start building a fairly generic graph, so we'll just search through and we'll just collect all of our walls in our model. And now we have our walls. With Monocle, we used to have a few options in here to convert things or things like that. So if I were to select a categories drop down, we have our in canvas widget that's available to us. When a single selection has happened, we are able to either convert the drop down or pop the list out into its individual members if it's a list of more than one item. In this case, for drop downs, we can go ahead and click on this and it will convert that to a code block representation of that drop down. Uh, most drop downs are accounted for in that converter. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. So if you were to do something like element types, that one's accounted for as well. In my case, if we do like a cable tray, I guess I convert that, it will convert it to a code block representation of that as well. Uh, one other thing that's changed with Monocle is a bug fix. So this is for all versions. If we select this and it has no selection, it won't try to convert it. There were some cases before to where we would try to convert this and it would result in a crash, an unhandled crash. So that's been fixed as well. Uh, for Monocle as well, if you select more than one node, you get the alignment commands around it, of course. Uh, but that contextual menu also gives you what applies to multiple nodes. So in this case, I don't want to try to convert every drop down in the selection. Uh, so if I click on the shopping cart, it will actually combine those into a single list with the list create node. So that one's our combinifier is what that's called. Uh, other kind of general things, if I were to select more than one, we still have our grouping commands. A single one also has grouping commands, so that's nice. Um, for the list pow is what we're calling it. If we create a code block with a range and I click on the little bomb, it will actually go through and pop those items out into individual lists. So if I were to walk through this, we can see that we've kind of expanded that list out how it needs to be. So that's still in there as well. Uh, other things for Dynamo that are really cool uh, that have been added are these wire pins. So if you hover over a wire until a plus sign appears, you can actually, if I can get it, I think I have a little trouble with it sometimes. You can add a pin. So you can do a pin and actually start to avoid other nodes or something like that. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, something that I think we can work in the monocle as well for auto routing some of these wires perhaps or something. Uh, let's see for grouping. If we just go in and create a group, uh, you'll notice the groups look a little bit different. Reason for this is because they are collapsible. They have a title and they also have a description. 
So there we go. So now groups are able to do that. If I create another group over here, and we'll actually, we'll make this a different color. Uh, in the past monocle, we were able to align these. So with the alignment widgets that were in the toolbar right here, we were able to align those. Uh, those are gone now. So the way you have to do this is actually hold down Alt on your keyboard and click the left arrow. So let's go ahead and do Alt, left arrow, and that will align it. That is also available in the traditional UI, which is kind of like version one of this tool. So if I were to select those groups, you can align them as well and just leave this floating. Uh, so that option's still in there. We'll do all up arrow and that will align upward as well. So pretty cool. Another feature that we'll try to add to Monocle eventually would be the ability to add a group to a group. So at this point, we've been able to group these nodes and now you can collapse them once again. So pretty cool. Uh, it's one of those features that's kind of interesting um, that they just added. It was doable before through like the API. Um, it wasn't supported, but now it is fully supported, which is nice. Another feature that I really like that I think we can work into Monocle in some way would be the ability to collapse these groups. So if you have these groups collapsed with an input, it will reveal an input and it will reveal the outputs as well. This feature is really exciting because you can start to clean up your code a bit uh, for whenever you distribute it. So I really like that feature too. Another feature of Monocle that had to change. So if we create a 3D piece of geometry real quick, I'll just create a cuboid. Uh, I do notice that the autocomplete has improved as well. Uh, it does show up a lot, which kind of, if you click by accident, a double click, I think it'll show up on the input or the output. Um, so I find myself having to get used to that as well. Uh, for the 3D preview in Monocle, we had little view icons up here in the ribbon as well. Those have now been moved to these little 3D glasses with the hover. So if you were to hover on this little arrow, you can go to the top view. You can go to a side view, each side, bottom view, all the views are available. So those are called standard views. Those are just available in Monocle as well. And we actually load those right here in this right menu now next to the geometry window. So it makes more sense now as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the big changes with Monocle. Uh, other features that you know, like simple search are still in there and things like that. One that I still need to work on is this override default search with simple search. Since the search changed, that now does not work. Uh, but regular simple search does work in the view extension panel. So always keep that in mind. Uh, other things would be like the package usage. Uh, that's still in here as well. Uh, if you were to hit control shift P, you can actually get to the clean version of it if you'd like. So if we were to add like to add a clockwork node, perhaps you will see that that is getting added. Uh, so if we were to annotate that note, well, we do have an annotation above that now. Another feature that I need to add to Monocle, which is new in Dynamo, is if you right click on a note with a node selected, you can actually pin the note to the node now. So that's another thing that I got to get added to Monocle as 2.13 becomes more widely adopted. So really interesting. That feature is super exciting to me uh, because you are able to have that follow that around. That was kind of the original intent of adding a note above each note as well. So being able to pin those is pretty slick. Uh, let's see. Other ones, so like in case you didn't know, um, the package usage doge is actually contextual based on the season. So it is Christmas time. So uh, that's the season we're in. So Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, but yeah, if there's any anything else you run into while testing this in Dynamo 2.13, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about this release. Updating Monocle was both frustrating and fun. So it's one of those things. I use the tool almost daily. Uh, so I rely on the tool pretty heavily, uh, even just for all these alignment commands, because I like to keep my Dynamo graphs as clean as I can. So that's probably my most used part of Monocle are these alignment commands. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Give it a try. Um, 
Other than that, I hope everyone has a great Christmas and New Year. Feel free to reach out and thanks for thanks for checking out the tools.